Dr. Morogoro. My name is Tatu Runde, and I'm going to teach Physics C Form 4. Our topic today is waves, and we are going to start with the first subtopic, which is introduction to waves. Mm, we can ask ourselves that what is a wave? How can we define the term wave? A wave is a traveling disturbance which transfer energy from one point to another. Or we can define a wave as a periodic mechanism which transfer energy from one point to another. Wave is a periodic mechanism which transfer energy from one point to another. And a wave can be produced when you drop an object such as a stone into water. We can see the formation of waves in that particular container which is having water. So by definition, we are saying wave is a periodic mechanism that transfer energy from one point to another. Now, we have some examples of waves, sound waves, we have water waves, we have light waves, and the radio waves. Those are examples of waves. Water waves, we have sound waves, radio waves, and light, light waves. There are two types of waves. There are two types of waves. We have electromagnetic waves, and also we have mechanical waves. Now, what do we mean when we say electromagnetic waves? What do we mean when we say mechanical waves? Let us start with electromagnetic waves. These are waves that do not require a medium for their transmission. These are the waves that do not need a medium for their transmission. Electromagnetic waves can even travel in a vacuum, can even travel in a vacuum. Examples of electromagnetic waves, the waves which do not require a medium for their transmission, we do have radio waves, we do have light waves, we do have TV waves, X-ray, gamma rays, mobile phone waves, etc. and so on. Those are type, I, I mean those are examples of electromagnetic waves. The waves which do not need medium for the air transmission. Electromagnetic waves involve electric and the magnetic field of the empty space. Why? Because we have said these are the types of the waves which do not require any medium for the air transmission. That means they can even travel in a vacuum space. And that is why we are saying electromagnetic waves involves electric or magnetic field of the empty space. All magnetic, all electromagnetic waves have the speed of light, which is 3 power 80 meter per second. Mechanical waves. Mechanical waves. Mechanical waves, these are the waves which 
require medium for their transmission. They cannot travel in a vacuum. Mechanical waves include the sound waves, water waves, seismic waves. These are the waves which do not require a medium for their transmission. They can not travel in a vacuum, in a vacuum, as we have said in the previous type of waves, which is the electromagnetic waves. So we have two types of waves: magnetic, electromagnetic waves, and mechanical waves. But electromagnetic waves, these are the waves which do not require any kind of medium for their transmission. They can even travel in a vacuum space. But mechanical waves, well, these are the waves which need a medium for their transmission. And a medium for that kind of transmission can be liquid, solid, or gas. Mechanical waves also can be categorized into two types. We have longitudinal waves and we have transverse waves. Mechanical waves include the longitudinal waves and the transverse waves. Longitudinal waves. What do we mean when we say longitudinal waves? Longitudinal waves, these are the waves which the particles of media are displaced, are displaced in a direction parallel to the direction of energy transport. And a good example of this kind of waves is the sound wave. Sound waves are the one which the way the particles are transmitted is parallel to the direction of the waves. Longitudinal wave, the particles of the medium travel in parallel to the direction of a wave. A longitudinal wave can be created in a sling. When you pull a sling, you cause vibration which will be back and forth in a horizontal direction, then we say that kind of vibration will produce the longitudinal wave. As we can see in that image, that is how we can create longitudinal wave. That is how we can create longitudinal wave. We have a sling, you pull it horizontally, then what will be produced there, the kind of the vibration which will be produced there, and that will be a good example of longitudinal wave. Mm, the second type of mechanical wave is transverse wave. Transverse waves. These are mechanical waves in which the direction of the wave disturbance is perpendicular to the direction of travel of the wave. Mechanical waves in which the direction of the wave disturbance is perpendicular to the direction of travel of the wave. In that kind of wave, of mechanical wave, we call it transverse wave. Transverse wave is the wave which the particles of medium are displaced in a direction perpendicular to the energy transport. That means the direction of a wave. Examples of transverse wave. Water waves are the good example of this kind of wave. Transverse wave 
an example is water well. That means water waves are the one whereby the particles of the medium travel in a direction perpendicular to the direction of a wave. Now, let us see the wave param parameters. Wave parameters. Wave parameters, these are the terms which use the in this particular topic in waves. We have amplitude. Amplitude. Amplitude is the maximum displacement of waves from their resting position. Amplitude is the maximum displacement of waves from their resting position. The SA unity of amplitude is meter. The SA unity of amplitude is meter. The second one is frequency. Frequency. Frequency is the number of complete circles or oscillations in one second. Frequency of the wave is the reciprocal of AC period. And the SN of a frequency is hertz. The SN of frequency is hertz. The third parameter is wavelengths. Wavelengths. Wavelength, this is the distance between two successive crests or thrusts of the wave. It's the distance between two successive crests or thrust of the wave. The ascent of wavelength is meter. The ascent of wavelength is meter. Next is velocity. Wave velocity. This is a product of wavelengths and the frequency of waves. And the SA unity of the wave velocity is meter per second. And from that definition is where we come up with the formula, which is known as wave formula, and that is Z. V, velocity equals to frequency times wavelengths. Period. Period. This is the time taken for one complete cycle or oscillation. A period is the time taken to complete one oscillation. And the SA unity for period that is second. Another term is crest. Crest this is the maximum positive displacement of a particle from its resting position. Cresting is the maximum positive displacement of a particle from its resting position. Another term is trough. This is the maximum negative displacement of a particle from its resting position. As you can see in this image, A, E, and H, A, E, and H, those are crests, and you can see point D, I mean point C and J are truss, but from resting position to the maximum point A, that is amplitude, that is amplitude, the maximum displacement of a wave, maximum displacement of a wave, which is amplitude, you can see it from the resting position to point A. So from the image, the resting position to point A, that is an amplitude, but from A to E, that is wavelengths, the distance between two successive Crestis or truss, but D, G is also wavelengths. It forms
forms it from one complete circle. And A, E, H, those are crests from the previous image. C and J, those are traps. Remember, all of these are from the previous image. An example. Find the velocity of sound wave which travels at a frequency of 100 hertz with wavelengths 0.34 meter. Our example, find the velocity of sound wave which travel at a frequency of 100 hertz with the wavelength of 0.34 meter. In the solution, we are going to start to summarize our question by recording the given data that frequency is 1000 hertz wavelengths, we have 0.34 meter and we have to calculate the velocity. We are going to use the wave equation that velocity is the product of frequency and wavelengths. And 1000 times 0 0.34, then we are going to have 340 meter per second. And this is our assignment. This is our assignment. A wave of frequency 188 hertz and a period of 5 seconds. Then what is the period of if its frequency is increased to 256 hertz? Thank you for watching. See you in the next session. Goodbye.